How's it going everyone? Jay from Free Skies here. Today I want to give you a quick walkthrough of how to use Copilot. Unlike other drone apps, Copilot makes it easier and safer to take dynamic videos and photos through our powerfully intuitive 3D interface. Let's load up Copilot. This initial page allows you to create new missions, load previous missions, and launch missions you've already created. Let's create a new mission. Immediately, you'll be thrown into our 3D interface, where you can pre-visualize your videos or images, pick your keyframes, and plan out your mission. Copilot is similar to making a video using a video editor. By saving keyframes, you can create an entire video. This 16 by 9 screen is the keyframe your drone is going to capture when you launch it. You don't need to set waypoints, altitude, or camera position manually. All that is set automatically when you add a keyframe. This lower panel here allows you to add, edit, or delete keyframes for this video. This map shows you the 2D position of your drone at all times. You can use this map to ensure you're avoiding buildings, terrain, or other obstacles when you're launching your mission. This panel at the top gives you more specific details about your keyframe, such as the height of your drone and the camera pitch of the aircraft. You can also check the total time and total distance that this mission will take to accomplish, along with the estimated battery consumption. Let me show you an example. I've already created a path in downtown San Francisco. I've set two keyframes, one at the ferry building in downtown San Francisco, and the second at Coit Tower. Let's set a third keyframe at the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm happy with this, so I'm going to add the keyframe. You'll notice that if you try to set a keyframe above 400 feet, Copilot will alert you, notifying you that you're setting an altitude that's too high. In the United States, the FAA currently advises keeping your drone below 400 feet so that you can ensure you're flying safe at all times. If you're outside of the United States, you can disregard this exemption. I'm going to hit yes for the time being. Once you've set your keyframes, you can pre-visualize your entire path and preview what it's going to look like ahead of time by hitting this play button here. This allows you to check to make sure that you don't hit any trees, buildings, or other obstacles along your flight path. This also helps you preview your video so that if you're satisfied with this, you can launch your mission, or you can edit your keyframes, add or delete additional keyframes, and modify this mission until you're satisfied. Once I'm happy with this mission, I can also check no-fly zones to ensure that I'm flying in a safe area, as well as checking the local weather to ensure that I'm flying in safe weather conditions. Everything looks good, so let's launch the mission. This is the first-person view screen, similar to the DJI GO app. At the top, you can see the quality of the video, the quality of the RC controller, as well as the GPS signal. You can also see the current battery level of the aircraft. The bar at the top will notify you, when, uh, notify you when it's safe to fly. At the bottom, you can check the speed and position of the drone in flight. On the right, you can record or take pictures during flight. You also have the option to switch between two modes, autonomous and hybrid mode. Autonomous mode is fully autonomous, capturing each frame exactly as you had planned them. Hybrid mode will give you full control of the camera so that you can control the pitch of the camera or yaw the aircraft during flight, giving you full creative control over your video. Once you're ready to play your mission, hit the green play button in the bottom left-hand cor corner. The first notification will let you know that you need to put your controller in F mode for Copilot to work. Once that's done, hit next. This notification lets you know that in an emergency, you can switch into P mode or hit the red abort button in the bottom right-hand corner to abort the mission at any time. This gives you full manual control of the drone once it's up in the air. Once you're ready, you can hit the next button. This pre-flight checklist will walk you through some uh, quick points to go through before you launch this mission, including walking through the flight path, accounting for any obstacles, and ensuring that you're following all safety procedures specified by DJI. Once you've gone through the pre-flight checklist, you can hit launch mission. And that's all there is to it. 
If you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email. We hope you enjoy using Copilot as much as we have building it. Happy flying!